Hi friends, I'm Miss Courtney. Last week, we talked about inviting other friends to play with us. Today, Josh wants to tell you about a time when he, he tried to play with some other people. Hi Josh. Hi. Here's my story. Yesterday, Sally and Tia were playing with the little horses. It looked like they were having a lot of fun. Did you want to play too? Yes, but I didn't know what to do. Oh. Do you guys have any ideas about what he could do if he sees friends having fun together and he wants to play too? Mm. Maybe he could say, can I play with you? It's a great idea. So Josh, what did you do? Did you jump into their game? No. I sat down near them. I started making stuff with my building logs. Did you talk to the girls? I watched some more and then I said, that looks like fun. What are the horses doing? Sally said the horses were racing. I had an idea about the logs and the horses. I said, can I make fences in a barn for the horses? Oh, I mean, <clears throat> I can make fences for a barn. Fences and a barn for the horses. May I play too? Oh, that's a great idea. What did the girls say? They liked my idea and they said I could play with them. So we made a cool farm for the horses. Then we ran the horses around. We had a lot of fun. Oh, that's so great. You found a friendly way to join in Sally and Tia's play together. You watched what they were doing. You played near them. And you had an idea about how to play with the logs and the horses. Then you asked to play with them. And it worked. Did you have fun playing with them? Yes, I had so much fun. I'm so glad I asked to join them. Well, that's great, Josh. Thanks for sharing your story. We are going to sing a song called the Joining Play Song. If you see some friends at play, friends at play, friends at play, and you want to join their play, what can you do? Watch their play and give ideas, give ideas, give ideas. Then you ask to join their play in a friendly way. Okay, so you can watch their play, give ideas, and ask to join. Yeah, and Josh played near the friends so he could, he could see what they were playing with. Those are great ideas. Now, we're going to look at a picture of a, a girl named Allison. And Allison is watching these three children fill up a bucket. Um, she doesn't know these kids very well, and so she's just standing and watching them having fun. She would like to join them. Um, and she, she, so she stands and watches them. What do you think that Allison could say to try to play with these friends? Oh, you think she could say, can I play with you? That might work. Yeah. Allison could also talk to them about what she sees them doing. She could say, that's a big bucket. That looks like fun. Talking about what the other children are playing shows that you'd like to play too. Allison has a fun idea. She says, you could use the shovels to fill the bucket. The other kids like that idea. Now Allison is ready to ask to join. And she knows that her voice should sound friendly, respectful, and kind. She doesn't want to say, can I play with you? She wants to use a nice, um, calm and kind voice. Can I play with you? So Allison asks, may I, may I help you fill the bucket? If you think this will work for Allison, raise your hand. I think it'll work. It does work. Now we can see Allison playing with the other children. 
So the other children let Allison play. They dump out the bucket and they fill it up again. So today you learned how to join in other children's play. Watch what they're doing, suggest ideas for play, and ask to join in in a friendly voice. I would like to read you a story before we go. And this is another book by Eric Carle, who we read earlier, and it's called Roosters Off to See the World. He's one of my very favorite authors. I love all the watercolor layers that he does in his books. So many animals. One fine morning, a rooster decided that he wanted to travel. So right then and there, he set out to see the world. He hadn't walked very far when he began to feel lonely. <clears throat> Just then he met two cats. The rooster said to them, come along with me and see the world. The cats liked the idea very much. We would love to, they purred, and set off down the road with the rooster. So we've got one rooster and two cats. They wandered on and the rooster, they, they wandered on. The rooster and the two cats met three frogs. How would you like to come with us to see the world? Asked the, the rooster, eager for more company. Why not? Answered the frogs. We're not busy now. So the frogs jumped along behind the rooster and the cats. We have one rooster, two cats, and three frogs. After a while, the rooster, the cats, and the frogs saw four turtles crawling slowly down the road. Hey, said the rooster, how would you like to see the world? That might be fun, snapped one of the turtles, and they joined the others. So we have one rooster, two cats, one, two, three frogs, and one, two, three three, four turtles. I wonder what's going to come next. As the rooster, the cats, the frogs, and the turtles walked along, they came to five fish swimming in the brook. Where are you going? asked the fish. We're off to see the world, answered the rooster. May we come along? pleaded the fish. Delighted to have you, the rooster replied. And so the fish came along to see the world. Oh, and the fish even asked in a friendly and kind way. They said, may we come along? So we've got one rooster, two frogs, two cats, three frogs, four turtles, five fish. The sun went down, it began to get dark. The moon came up over the horizon. Where's our dinner? asked the cats. Where are we supposed to sleep? asked the frogs. We're cold, complained the turtles. Just then some fireflies flew overhead. We're afraid, cried the fish. Now, the rooster really had not made any plans for the trip around the world. He had not remembered to think about food and shelter, so he didn't know how to answer his friends. After a few minutes of silence, the fish suddenly decided that it might be best if they headed home. They wished the others a happy trip and swam away. There go the fish. Bye, fish. Then the turtles began to think about their warm house. They turned and crawled back down the road without so much as a goodbye. Bye, turtles. The frogs weren't too happy with the trip anymore either. First one and then the other, and finally the last one jumped away. They were polite enough, though, to wish the rooster a good evening as they disappeared into the night. So now there's only a rooster and two cats left. The cats remembered an unfinished meal they had left behind. They kindly wished the rooster a happy journey and they too headed for home. Now the rooster was all alone and he hadn't seen anything of the world. He thought for a minute and then said to the moon, to tell you the truth, I'm not only hungry and cold, but I'm homesick as well. That means he misses his home. The moon did not answer. It, too, disappeared. The rooster knew what he had to do. He turned around and went back home again. He enjoyed a good meal of grain and then sat on his very own perch. After a while, he went to sleep and had a wonderful, happy dream, all about a trip around the world. The end. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye.